this is the hot rat parang it comes in at 12 inches in k720 steel 59 to 68 hrc that's basically o2 but of course made by bolo the home so what we're going to do is we're just going to start out by chopping some of the smaller stuff then progressively go up to the bigger stuff do some carving what i want to do is i want to do a little bit of torque test because the blade being thin when we have lateral pressure it tends to be at its weakest spot so if we can survive that it's pretty much going to be able to survive anything we toss at it all right so the first thing that we're going to do we're going to do some clearing we've got some really thin maybe about a half inch uh, stalks over here So I've got it about an inch deep, all right, if you look up here. I am going to try and torque it outwards, and it should survive. It's K720 at 59 to 60. All right, I don't expect that it's going to actually break it off, but we did see a little bit of flex in the blade, and it didn't snap, so that's good news. I've got three different diameters of wood here. We're gonna start with something that's thinner. This is about an inch and a quarter, about an inch and a half. We're gonna move up to something a little bit thicker. Yeah, just a bit thicker than this one. And we'll go to the big guy. Oh. What's this, two and a half to three inches? I'm not sure. I hope I don't go through the knot. It's always uh, where it's really tough to go through. So we'll try and attack it right about here, okay? We can see some oxidizing from the tree sap. We should be able to wipe that off, but this is not a stainless steel, so you do want to actually oil it up. Let's try it out. test that almost everybody wants to do, I'm not sure why, is to baton wood. So I'm going to take this section, 
There are a few knots in here, so don't be surprised if it's maybe a little bit hard to go through, but we'll see how it does, all right? So it got a little bit hard to baton when we got down here. Not because the knife can't take it. It went through the thick of half in the top. It's just because it was so heavy up here, I couldn't really hold on to the blade properly while I was trying to baton it. This also isn't the most ideal baton. In hindsight, I should have cut this shorter. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'll carve just as well, but let's just give it a go. Show you how it does feather sticks. So we know it does the big tasks well. Chops wood, no problem. Batons, no issues. We also do clearing the thin one inch size uh, tree limbs. We know it does some feather sticking as well, and that's fantastic. But what we want to do is we want to see how well it held its edge. One of the details that I like to do is actually slice paper just to see how sharp the knife is after all of that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to clean up the blade, remove some of the tree sap, because that's going to impede slicing, and we'll see how well it goes through paper. You and over here. Whoa! <laughs> I was, I was, I'll be honest. I was not expecting that. Sorry, but I was not expecting that. Like I've had 1095, beat the hell out of it. You can get this after a stroke. I've done nothing but clean it with water and some spirit. Look at that. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Again, this is the Hot Rat Blades 12 inch Parang, comes in K720. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more future awesome content. Share this with your friends. If you've got friends who are knife lovers, who like to go camping and they want a quality product or they want to see more quality products in the future, share it with them. Anyways, I will catch you guys in the next video. Stay safe, stay sharp.